A pep hooray to the firefighters who saved the day, or more so the two-story Wolf Road building housing Great Commission Ministries that nearly went up in flames due to an electrical shortage. LaDawn Davis visited the popular feeding center to find out about the losses incurred and how you can help with rebuilding efforts. It was just before midnight on Sunday morning when a fire erupted from a refrigerator here in the storage area of the Great Commission Ministries. However, Bishop Walter Hancho says he's just grateful that the fire was contained. We had substantial damages. We had uh, a lot of fire damage. We lost a lot of equipment. We lost freezers, um, refrigerators, and um, uh, um, all of our windows jammed. Everything went, that could go wrong went wrong for sparing us that ordeal. We didn't lose the building. The police were able to get inside, the firemen, they got inside, they contained the fire, and um, we are now just re rebuilding, and we are trusting God for um, that we're able to restore, replenish um, all, the, all the food that we lost, get all of the uh, equipment back. And to put a price tag on the damage, Hanshaw says it will cost about $30,000 or more to get the storage facility back up and running. But he's confident that with the public's assistance, this could be done in a few weeks. We spend thousands of dollars every day on food and taking care of the poor. And um, so we could raise that easily. Poisons, they, the Bahamian people are very compassionate. We know that they will come and, and, and bring us some money or bring us some food and we will make sure that these people are fed, that they are sheltered. Now, if you're interested in making a donation to the Great Commission Ministry's fire relief efforts, you can stop and drop it off at its Wolf Road location any time of the day. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm LaDawn Davis. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe for all things Zedanas.